Good afternoon, everybody. And here we are again, second week in, and it's our fourth tile today. Hope you've had a good weekend. Uh, I have been seeing some of the posts that you've put on of the work you've been doing, and I must say I'm pretty impressed. I think we're all doing a great job. And you know what? Even if you think, I don't like what I did, or it's not quite exactly how I would have expected it to be, please don't worry about it. It's not always about the end result. It's, it's more about how you're putting pen to paper and just relaxing as you do it. Honestly, the end result will come, so please don't worry about it. So here we go. Hi, Shirley. First thing we're going to do then with our pen is we're going to own our tile, put our name on it. So here we go. Full name. There we go. Hi, Steph. Hi, Christine. Hi, Garth. And there's one. Do you know what? I've lost my, my elastic band that I usually attach my phone to my stand with. So it's a piece of string today. So I can't move it. So I can see some messages coming through. Hi, Ange, Sue. But uh, the piece of string sort of like um, stops the one that's the, 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 sort of the last one coming through. So here we go. 30th of March. And this is tile number four. Hi, Leslie. Okay. Uh, I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. Um, and yeah, oh, I'm going to stick in with the pen just for a little while. And I'm going to use one of my stencils that's in the emergency pack. Again, if you don't have one, please don't worry about it. You can sketch one out. It's If you start with um, a sort of a rectangle and then add two triangles on the end, it really doesn't matter because you're not going to see... Um, the end result of the, the hexagon itself. There's going to be a different shape there, hopefully. Okay, you ready? Hi, Diane. Hi, Wendy. I could, I could spend hours saying hello to people. Hi, it's really nice that you joined me. Thank you. Okay, are we ready then? So what I'm going to do with my pen, I'm going to draw around the inside of that frame. And then with my pencil very lightly I'm going to draw around the outside that one's just a bit of a guide okay so if you're not sure if you've not got your stencil if you're not sure if you look about the thickness of your pen that's sort of how how thick that border is all the way around okay Right, so deep breath for this. So we're going to event, we're going to actually create the same line all the way through, but you're just going to keep turning our tile. It's important that you turn your tile. Now I'm left-handed, so I'm starting this side. Right-handed, you might want to start here. So I'm going to start in the point of the hexagon where I've drawn in pen, and I'm going to draw a line that sort of comes out a little bit. Okay. So far, so good. So I'm going to turn my tile. And now I'm going to start here. And I'm going to go from here and just pull out just a little bit. Same line. OK. Turn my tile. And I'm going to work from this point, from here, down here. OK. And I'm going to turn my tile. From here to here. So I'm creating the same line every time. I'm starting each one from the point I, f I finished. From there to there. Turning my tile. From there to there. I'm just going to cut that bit in. So I've effectively, I've gone all the way around. So I've really drawn another hexagon, but slightly offset. So I'm going to continue from that point now, pulling down. Turn my tile from this point, pull down. Turn my tile from this point, pull down. Turn around. Pull down, turn around, from there, pull down, turn my tile. Now it's really important that you turn your tile as you're going so you can keep 
the same line that you've done going around. And even I do wobble a little bit at trying to, to reproduce this without turning my tile first. So nice and easy, take a deep breath as you're going. And you keep working your way around, turning that tile and creating that same line every time. Okay, keep going. I don't know if any of you um, saw the photograph of Benji helping me out yesterday with some of my demos. Yeah, he was uh, a bit skittish yesterday. He didn't want to sit down and settle. He just wanted to play with anything and everything that would uh, play with him. I even found a sock or two in the, the back garden yesterday. He's been uh, picking things up and moving them around. I think Seth wanted a sleep day yesterday. He didn't want to play at all. So Benji made his own fun. Okay. Just going to keep doing it. Turning my tile. Working my way down. There we go. Now there's no rush to this. Don't feel that you've got to keep up. As long as you get the idea, just take your time and keep it going. <laughs> Hi, Elaine. Glad you made it. Okay. Absolutely love this tangle. So it looks really effective when you've done it. And you think, how did I do that? That's it. I love it. Absolutely love this one. I'm just going to keep working my way around. Turning as I go. Sorry if you're getting a bit dizzy watching this, but... It's important that you do this. There we go. Keep turning. I think as you go, you start to get into the flow of following the tile. You have to keep your eyes on this one. Turning it round as you go and drawing that line. So it's not just about drawing, it's about that movement as well. Don't forget to breathe. Keep it going. There we go. It's not a rush. Just take your time. Following it through. There we go. It's looking pretty good. There's something about this pattern. It really makes you focus. Okay, just take your time. Nice and gentle. That same line every single time. There we go. Working it through. This is the getting a little bit shorter now as I'm getting closer to the middle. And don't worry if that hexagon shape doesn't sort of stay. Don't worry about it. It's going to change a little bit as we're going. There we go. You can start to see the, the patterns now of this um, swirl clicking in. There we go. Come my way around. There we go. Turning each time. I'm sure you're into the swing of this by now. There we go. Come my way round. This varies a lot um, as well, depending on how how big you make the step between these lines. So some of you might have gone really narrow. Some of you might have gone a bit wider. You see, you've really got to focus when you get into this bottom section. Just keep it going. There we go. Not much more to go now. I'm running out of space. Into there. Into this one. This one and this one. Ooh! I 
Fantastic. Okay, that's exactly what we're looking for. If yours is a bit different, please don't worry about it. Okay, I'm liking that. All right, deep breath. I'm gonna enlarge it a little bit so we can sort of focus in on one of these sections here. Okay, what I'm gonna do, you can see where this sort of swirl works its way in. So what I'm gonna do is starting here is create a little curve like so. And then I'm gonna do that on each one of those lines. Just working my way in, following it round nice and gentle all the way around until I can't really get in anymore that's probably about it and then these little gaps that are left I'm just gonna fill them in with my pen there we go let's just change the shape a little bit hasn't it there we go so if I move out a bit you can see now that that's got a bit of a curl on the edge okay <laughs> if you're not good at this without a ruler do you know what if you really need to use a ruler then i'm not going to say you can't but if you could do it without uh, it's going to give it that little bit of um character but by all means if you feel you need to just make sure you 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 know you keep an eye on what you're doing so you know where you you're putting your next line I'm not going to add to your anxiety at this point by saying you can't use a ruler. But, uh, but at this point, you don't you don't need to now because we're putting those little curves on. Okay. There we go. So I've done the same there, look, and then I've just added in curve. Okay. So I'm going to continue that now. I'm going to go to this next one. And I'm going to do the same again. I'll make it a touch larger so you can see it. There we go. All right, just adding a curve on that top edge. Okay, keep my way around. Okay, turning through and working on the next one. So we're just repeating that pattern all the way along. So you can't go any further. There we go. And then filling in that little gap that's left. Okay. There we go. So you see where we used the stencil, it was just the original line, just to sort of get us started. It's, uh, we've not used it since, it's just, just that starting point. There we go. And then fill in those little bits. There we go. Turn it round. And I'm going to repeat. Same again. Doing those little curves. Until I can't go anymore. And just filling in those little edges. Kind of nice, I like this one. Quite like uh, filling that in. So if I just pull out a little bit. There we go. All right. Hopefully you've got something slightly similar. Now, why did I do this extra line around the outside then? What was the point of this frame? Are we gonna do a different tangle? Well, not really. Um, we're going to continue with the same sort of pattern. But what I want to do is I'm going to work from this straight edge. And remember this curve that we did here? I'm going to do a curve from there. And I'm going to bring it all the way down to that bottom corner there. Okay, so just again, I started with the straight edge. And then I did this curve. But then I continued it all the way down to the point there. I'm going to turn it slightly and then I'm going to come not right on the edge I'm going to bring it down a little bit and I'm going to do the same again from there all the way down to there 
So I've come to the same point at the bottom there. And then I'm going to repeat it here. So you can see now I've sort of touched that outer frame. It's giving me a little bit of an indication. So I've got three going in there. And then I'm coming around a bit more. And I'm going to try where I can to sort of keep it within that frame. So there's another one. Another two. Now you see there where I've sort of come straight with that edge. I'm going to stop there. Now that looks a little bit, oh my word, what am I doing here? So I'm going to show you again. There's my straight edge. Okay, deep breath. Here we go. From here, I'm going to do a little bit out and come down to this point here. Okay. And then similar thing again. Just not, not the same level, just come down a little bit. And there's my third one. Sorry, my second. And my third one down and it's touching the edge of that hexagon it just sort of gives you an indication so where you're going and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do another one two you see that one sort of fills in with that straight edge so I'm going to leave it there so so far I've got that okay next one then here we go straight edge again so I'm going to go from here, from this point, out and down to that point. Then slightly lower down, there's my second one. And then my third one is sort of touching the edge. It's gone over a little bit, but that's okay, of that frame. So that frame was just a guide for you. So then I'm coming down further, look, and I'm going to do another one. Another two, you see where that's now straight with that edge there. Okay, same again. So I'm going to go one, then two, and my third one sort of touches. Turn it around a little bit. So I'm coming further down now, and I'm doing another one, two, and it's straight there. It matches. Okay. Hi Lorraine. We missed the beginning. Oh yeah, okay. I just wanted to watch you then. Yeah, maybe watch this what I'm doing and then replay it from the beginning afterwards. So you just you get the hang of it. I'm I'm sort of doing the same line or the same sort of line each time. But um if you're not sure where we started, it, it can be a little bit tricky straight on that edge so here's my last side and I'm doing exactly the same again from here to here there's my second one there's my third one turn it around a little bit and there's one and two so we should have deep breath something that looks like that okay so we've still got a couple of little spaces here. So what I'm going to do is pull in a little bit more so you can see it again. I'm just going to con continue a little bit. So I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going to turn it round. So from this one here, one, two, so if I pull that out a little bit so you can see where I'm going from. So we've got this, this little corner here. So working my way from this one, I'm working backwards. One, two, three. Okay, doesn't it look good? Absolutely, I love this pattern. Who's that? Oh, Leslie, yeah, I know. Here we go again, look, one, two, three, turning round from this line again, one, two, three, and the last one, one, two, three. So we're sort of counting as we're going there as well. There we go. So we've got something that looks a little bit it sort of swirls as it works its way out. Now, if you can't see, 
that outer frame, you wouldn't really realise that that had started from that hexagon. Just love that about it. Okay, not finished yet. Still things to do. So let's go up a little bit more. All right, deep breath, you ready? All right, so let's have a look at one of these shapes that goes in here. All right, this ideal space and opportunity there to sort of tangle and do all the things in it. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to start with this larger one here. It doesn't matter where you start really. And I'm going to fill in with some little like bubble shapes. There we go. Just making sure that it, each one touches each other and it touches the sides as best as possible. Don't worry about them being absolutely perfect. It's That's fine. And then I'm going to colour in those little edges. There we go. There's bits there and there's bits there. And then I'm going to miss one and then I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to fill in those those little bubbles going as close as I can get and then filling in the edge. Okay. Okay, I am doing this from a distance, so I might not get them all, but that's okay for now. So look, I've missed one. This is why I said it didn't matter where we started, because I can miss this one now, and I can come and fill this one in. There we go. All those little bubbles in. Filling those edges. And then this one. And just filling those edges. And that tiny little one there. And I'm going to continue working my way around this pattern, adding those little bubbles in. Oh, Rita, you do definitely need to try this one. It's amazing when it's finished. It's well worth it. It's well worth having a go. And then you can start adding different patterns in here as well and the, the difference it makes and then bringing a bit of colour in. There's a lot you can do with this. It's really, really nice. There we go. Just working my way around. Filling in with those bubbles. There we go. And that one. I think I'll start with the outside one because then as you get further in, you, there's less to do and it feels like you're going quicker. There we go. And tiny ones in there. So I've got one done. Okay. So then I'm going to miss the next one. And I'm going to do the one after that. Now remember I started with the sort of the largest. Doesn't really matter. But you can see that my smallest was on the end. Doesn't. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to stick in with that one there. Oh, right, well. There. This one. Okay, I'm leaving that one. So, okay, I could do something with that in a little bit. So just to reiterate, I am leaving one whole one and I'm going into the next pattern. Okay, I got a bit carried away with my bubbles then. There we go. Just filling those bits in. Yeah. See, perhaps I should have started with that one like I did before. each one and fill in there we go then the next one we'll get a little bit of a bit of one at the top there and just working my way down and filling in that space absolutely no rush don't think you've got to got to keep up with me so this video is going to stay once I've uh, I've done it so you can just go back and watch it if you want to even put us on mute if you want to <laughs> there we go let's keep going you say I know on um, Wednesday I'm going to be traveling i have got a car full of petrol so i don't need to stop and, and sort of speak to anybody 
So I'm going to be straight from home to the studio. Um, and then it's either going to be find an office that's vacant, there's nobody in there to stay in, or I'm going to be in the in my car. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I swapped my car recently, because I've got a bigger one now. But that does mean that our, our live session is going to be possibly live from the back seat of my car, which should be quite fun. So it might be that I have to hold the phone and uh, video at the same time, but I'll, I'll worry about the logistics of that later. But I still think, uh, as if you want me to, of course, I still think it's important that now we've started these tiles that we, we sort of keep with the same time and date as much as possible. So uh, I'll be there on Wednesday. So you can see, look, I've missed one again and I've gone into the next one here with that same pattern. There we go. And this one. I have um, some absolutely beautiful samples, but as you can imagine, I've not been able to go in and collect them from some of my design team. So I've got some really nice photographs that I can show you on Wednesday, but sadly I'll not have all of the actual products there. The photos I know doesn't always, you know, do the work justice, but they've done a fantastic job this time. So thank you very much to uh, Marie, Sharon and Leslie for, for doing those for me. Really, really appreciate it. And I'm sure you do too. Um, yeah, I do give them hard work sometimes. Just draw a dream catcher, it'll be fine. I haven't got any instructions yet, but you'll be fine. They've done great. There we go. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm not the same on mute. <laughs> I don't know, my husband might disagree with that. Okay, so I've done my, my first three here. You see when I put this extra bubble there? I'm, I'm going to do it on all of them so it looked like I meant it. There we go. Just one on the ends, just to sort of bring it in. Quite like it. It's nice that. So let's let's do a different pattern here. So let's go with. Um, I'm just going to sort of pull up and come back down again and colour this bit in, and then add some little bubbles in and get three on there. Look, and I've gone a little bit smaller up each time, and that one a bit bigger. So this is going to be quite thin. There we go. Put my three in. There we go. Quite a thin section there. Now here, I'm only going to get two in, but that's fine. See there, the one. That's kind of nice. I like that one. There we go. A oh, full day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? I mean, that's all been well. I do have two shows, one at 12.45 and one at half past four. So I've got nice space in the middle. So I'll have uh, plenty of tea with me. Yes, it won't be me making it. I know the girls are going, oh, are you going to make that? No. I'll get John to do me a flask before I go. It'll be fine. And uh, I could sit in the back of the car and tangle, listen to Jeremy Vine. Oh, will, will he be on then? I'll be off then. Yeah, lots to do. There we go. This is looking uh, it's pretty good, I like this one. It's got quite a lot of drama to it. I mean, we refer to the, the drama of it when uh, you put quite a lot of the black on. There we go. Tiny, tiny little dots. Look at that. Let's have a look at that as one whole thing. Look at that. Loving that. Okay. So we're going to continue that then. We're going to do the same on this one. So we're sort of going in and filling those gaps in now. There we go. Look nice with the, I don't know, maybe um, 
in gold, black, oh, black with a gold pen. That would look pretty good, wouldn't it? I like that idea. Might have to try that later. For now, we're just on, uh, we're on emergency basic kit only. So I'm not gonna use anything extra that I haven't uh, said. So there we go. So we're sticking with the black on the white tile. There we are. So it gets smaller each time. Adding that little sort of slither in and then going in with our little bubbles. Just working our way around nice and gentle. There we go. Filling in as we go. So let's go a bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Oh, I've lost my space. Oh, there it is. There we go. A little bit in there. That's it. Making my way through. Okay, when I get to the, the tinier ones, you can only get one in, that's fine. It's as far as we can go with it. Okay, and the last one. Go in there. And that's a little slither. Fill that in and add your little bubble. There we go. There, that's it. Little bubbles. It's smaller each time. It's amazing actually when you think how quick this one's sort of come together. If you were to look at it now, it's quite complex and you think, oh, how on earth have I made that? There we go, just fill those bits in. Looking through, a little bit there, that one's quite thin actually, it's a bit skinny, but that's okay, you can still get some pattern in. Looking it through, just a few more left. Almost done. Oh, it's just now how, how small can you go? There we go. Oh, hi Bernadette. Um, there is a, a button that says shop on my Facebook page. If you can't see it, don't worry about it. Just sort of message me and I'll send you the link or I'm sure somebody else will put the link on, uh, on this video. You can have a look at it. Look at that, that is actually, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm loving that. I really, really like that one. And I knew when I thought I'm gonna do this one with you, I knew you'd think, oh my word, how is this gonna work? But look at it, look what you've done. Oh, right, okay, not finished yet though. So we're gonna go in now with pencil. So here we go. Deep breath, you ready? All right, so if you want to, on your little, bubbles you're going to put that little smirk i said if you want to that you know there's quite a lot there you don't you don't have to uh, you can just do the next bit of shading that i'm going to show you in a minute but i just think this gives it a little bit more of a lift there we go so you can see there where i've put those on and then from the base i'm going to come in and i'm going to add some graphite. You see, I've gone quite liberal there. I've put quite a bit on. And uh, I'm going to put just a little bit around the sides there. Okay. All right. Uh, and just, just hold, if your pen's a bit scratchy, you might want to try, instead of holding it at an angle, hold it upright and just relax off with it a bit and see how, uh, see how that goes. I think sometimes, you know, they're very, very fine. And sometimes they don't always do what you want them to do. But there we go. So I'm going in. I'm going in and putting all the pencil on first rather than shading each one separately. I'm just sort of prolonging that 
um, that sort of final reveal of, of what it's going to look like. So you see, I've put quite a lot there, and I've just put a little bit around the edges there. Okay. Right, last one of the bubbles. From there we go. Inside. So I wonder if, um, I know some of you have been doing the pages as well. I wonder if you've tried something on your own or you've been a bit more adventurous and uh, had a look at some other patterns and done some more tiles this weekend. I've been busy prepping for the, the show, of course, so I really need to do a little bit on my own journal as well, I think. Okay, so I've done all those three. So now on these ones, what I'm going to do is put a little bit on each of those lines, just sort of so you get something a little bit different. You might decide later that you want to do another one, but you want to change the way you shade it. That's fine, there's more than one way of doing it. Let's just go out a little bit so you can see. So like here, look, I actually did it here. And on these ones, I'm doing it on these lines here. Not overdoing it, just a little bit. Sort of a single line if you can. Just gives it a bit of something. There we go. And then onto this one. Same again. So I'm just putting some onto those lines. There we go. All right, all our pen looks a bit rough now, doesn't it? Because we've got just pencil all over the place, but that's okay. So let's now go in with our little paper stub, our tortillon. I said before, if this sort of finds it, you get it a little bit blunt, don't worry about it. Use a nail file and just literally file it just sort of from here, oh, hang on, from here down, file it into a point again, and you'll be good as new. So working with these, little bubbles. I'm just going to smooth them off just to give them that little bit of shadow on one side. You see I'm following the curve as much as I can for each one. There we go. And then with this bit here I'm just going to pull it out. So I'm still keeping the darkest bit here but I'm just pulling out part way up into that pattern. Okay, now I'm going to do all of those ones first. So here we go, bit of a smooth into there. There we go. Making my way around. And then from here, pull out. You see where that graphite's moving a little bit? That's what we want. Not all the way to the top, just, just smooth it out as it's going. There we go. And same with this one. Just working my way around at each of those bubbles. And then pulling that outwards. Okay. So, still missed one. So this is where we're at so far then. So you can see the, the bubbles now look slightly more three-dimensional and you've got some of this, let's do that a bit more, depth coming in from this bottom edge. Yeah, sometimes you have to pull out just to have a look at it a little closer. There we go. Now this one, because we've put on each line, I'm just gonna go th up each line and just smooth off a touch. You see, I'm not completely covering the whole of the shape. It's got a bit bigger so you can see. So you see where I've got my, my line? I'm just going in 
and smoothing it off. So I'm not trying to cover the whole shape, I'm just softening up that pencil line. Okay, there we go. Then I'm going to do that on the next one as well. Same on the third one, of course. Just working my way around. I don't want to miss one. So just keep your eye on them. There we go. Oh, what time am I on CNC? I'm on at quarter to one. I have to write these down because these 45 minutes, it's, it works fine. It's just trying to keep on track of when you're going to be on. 12.45 and up a spore. Or being well, of course. You just never know, do you? But that's what I'm planning to do. So, fingers crossed. I've got some real, really nice demos planned. Just uh, hope I can, you know, get them all in. Should be. Should be good. There we go. Okay. So, let's have a look at that now. Remember that we started... Hang on a second... We started with this and we used a hexagon shape, okay? So we used the inside and the outside. So from that to that, I mean, it's lovely, isn't it? And I'm sure looking at yours now, turning yours around, you think, oh my word, I did that. Look at that. I might even, you know, see we're here in the center. I'm just gonna go in and darken that bit up just a little bit, you see? You see the difference that makes? It's gonna go round each one. Just adding a little bit more depth. Yeah, look at that, that's it. See, sometimes you have to go back and just look at it a little bit and think, okay, what do I do now? Okay. Oh, loving that. Absolutely loving that. Okay. Last thing to do then. Find yourself a spot somewhere. I'm going to go in here. And in goes your initials. All right. So what do you, what do, you do with it? Um, I'm not going to do anything else with that because I think it, it stands alone, you know, and it looks pretty pretty good as it is but I have got a couple of other versions here same way exactly the same way of producing it but you can see here look that instead of doing the bubbles that we did here I've gone in and I've created a striping effect so continuing with this shape I've done that shape following it all the way around and then I've put some of the graphite on either edge and just smoothed it out, leaving the white in the middle. Now, if you have got a white pen, you can go in and put yourself a white stripe down the middle. That'll really enhance it. But I didn't want to do that because you haven't got one, or not everybody's got one anyway. And then here you can see that I just did a line and some dots. So instead of doing the thicker line here, I've done the dots there. And that one looks pretty good it's that black in it that makes a difference and then on this one you see I've started now to add some patterns around the outside edge I've done the the balls exactly the same as we did here but I've uh, I've gone in with a gray pen so you can see the difference there it's just slightly more subtle and I've actually left this one and then I've done a little bit of what we call an aura I've drawn all the way around it just to sort of give it a frame. That's my work in progress. I might decide to do something in here a bit later, but I've, I've not fully decided yet. So, so far then, here we go. So I've got um, the two there, and then I've got a space that I'm going to put this one. And I think what I'm going to do here, I've got some of these little ball shapes. don't know if you've done those before. I'll just show you one. Um, here we go. So to create those going to go in and I'll draw a bubble. Okay, go a little bit bigger. 
and then double line in the middle, colour that in and then you're going to do a thin line, one that side and one that side and then if I repeat that, I'm going to do a small one there but this time I'm going to change the direction of that centre line as I go so there's another one so you can see it's almost like I'm turning a tile again doing it in my journal there we go, colour the centre either side and then before you know it you can see that that will start to sort of grow that's going to sort of develop up here somewhere and then it might come further down here you can see where that, that grey pen has sort of worked in but feel free to use you know use whatever you've got use different colours it just gives it a little bit more light and dark doesn't it <laughs> Christine wow it worked of course it did of course it worked that's so funny um, please give it another go you might have to watch it back and you know sort of stop it and start it as you're going but you wouldn't really think would you that you've come from a, a simple hexagon shape to creating something as intricate and beautiful as that imagine a little gem in the middle there oh that'd be beautiful wouldn't it something a bit of glitter maybe wink of Stella over it's amazing what to, what you can do with that so I hope you've enjoyed that one. I've really challenged you to there today there, but I'm sure that you'll uh, you'll come up with it and I'll see some posts later with some absolutely fabulous pieces of work. So for now, we'll leave it there um, and I will do another one on Wednesday at two o'clock at the same time. Um, if I'm a little bit late, please don't panic. It's just me getting from the studio to the car or looking for an office. But I will be there. I will do it. And I will aim to be as close to two o'clock as possible. So um, until that time, uh, have fun with it. Enjoy yourself and stay safe. And I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye.